Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is going to be pretty easy but uh, from my experience I know that many many people would make mistakes solving such problems so I recommend you to pause the video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation so here is the problem, phenylketonuria or PKU is a human heredity disease resulting from the inability of the body to process the chemical phenylalanine which is contained in the protein that we eat. PKU is manifested in early infancy and it is remains if it is uh, remains untreated generally leads to mental retardation. PKU is uh, caused by a recessive allele with simple Mendelian inheritance. A couple intends to have children but consults a genetic counselor because the man has a sister with PKU and the woman has a brother with PKU. There are no other known cases in their families. Uh, they ask the genetic counselor to determine the probability that their first child will have PKU. What is this probability? So what we know about uh, this uh, family that came uh, for consultation, we know that uh, he is a female, he is a male, and female had a brother who is affected with this genetic disorder, and this male has a sister who is affected with this genetic disorder. And now this couple want to marry, and they wondering what are chances that the child would be affected with this genetic disorder and I'm using this uh, sign to designate uh, the child because uh, it is unborn child and uh, gender is not known yet. So of course uh, everyone here had uh, parents so he is a father and mother on this side and father and mother on this side. So if we know that this is um, this genetic disorder is caused by recessive allele with simple Mendelian inheritance, we can say that um, these people who are affected would be a small a, small a genotype, small a, small a. And that means that both parents have to be heterozygous in order to be phenotypically normal but uh, as you see uh, in this case they would have affected child and in this case they would have affected child only if both of them would be heterozygous so because this is recessive genetic disorder phenotypically parents would be normal but they would have a probability to have affected child so now, uh, in order to find probability for this couple to have affected child, we also have to find probability for them to be heterozygous. Only in this case, this couple may have some chances to have affected child. So, uh, let's return to genotypes of their parents. So, genotype of the parent is uh, heterozygous, another parent is heterozygous. So I'm taking this couple or this couple, the genotype is the same. So basically when we build a Punnett square, we can find probability uh, for this parents to have affected child. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. We know that um, people in this couple do not belong to this affected phenotype, otherwise we would know it. So that gives us a probability that each of them would be heterozygous as 2 out of 3, not 2 out of 4, but 2 out of 3, because we know that they belong to the normal phenotype. So we know that they do not belong to this genotype and phenotype. So the probability to be heterozygous is 2 out of 3. So let's put this probability here. So 
probability would be 2 out of 3 to be heterozygous and for this person also probability to be heterozygous would be 2 out of 3. So, uh, and if these two parents would be uh, heterozygous, it doesn't mean that uh, instantly the child would be affected. As you see, if both parents would be heterozygous, probability to have affected child would be 1 quarter. Now we are ready to calculate uh, probability for this couple to have affected child. So, uh, female would have probability of two thirds to be uh, heterozygous. And we have to multiply by probability for a male to be heterozygous, which is also two thirds. And if they both would be heterozygous, probability for them to have um, affected child would be one quarter. So now we have to multiply all these numbers. So two multiplied by two going to be four multiplied by one would be four. So four over and three multiplied by three would be nine multiplied by four would be uh, 36. 36. And we can divide numerator and uh, denominator by 4, and our answer would be 1 ninth. So this is going to be a probability for this couple to have affected child, and such probability would be 1 ninth. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.